How can we use the sum if function here in Google Sheets with two different practical examples? Basically, the sum if function can help us to add up values, but with a criteria. So let's say, instead of take a column and make an addition of all the numbers that you have, you can make an addition following a certain criteria or a condition. Here, basically, I have a sales report where I have a couple of different informations, such as the month, January, February, March, and on and on. And in the second column, I have the product, the ID, the quantity sold, and also the value sold. Let's say I want to make a different analysis here. Instead of using the sum function to add up all those, those values and maybe to know how much I sold, I want to have here, let's say, the total sold for product. To do it, I can use the sum if function. And each one of the items that I have here, item A, B, C, and D, I want to know the total sold per item. So, equal sign, it's very important to use the equal sign, sum if. This is the function that I'm going to use. Let me click ONS in this function. And here we're going to have three different arguments. Range, criterion, and also the sum range. As the range is the range that I want to use as the criteria. And because my criteria is the items, the products, I need to select here the column where I have the, the criteria, such as the product. Okay, so I can either select a small range like this, or I can click here over the letter B to select the entire column B. Now let me press here, comma, and as the criteria, I want to use the item A first. Let's start with the item A. And I can either open quotations mark, type it in manually, item A, and then close quotations, comma, and go to the next argument. Or to make it dynamic, I can click in the cell where I have the item A. Comma, the sum range that I want to use here, it can be either the quantity or the values. But uh, for this example, I want to use the values to know how much I just sold for each one of the items. So I'm going to stick here with the E column, okay? And then I'm going to close parentheses and then press enter. And I'm done. So $4,500 sold for the item A. Let me click here in the down right corner of the cell. Click, hold, and drag it out to make sure all the rows now contain the same function. And we're done. So this is how we can use the sum if function in Google Sheets to solve a practical problem and to make some analysis. And something very interesting here is, let's say I want to take here the item C, where I sold $600. If I change item C and instead I use item A, let's say, I'm going to press enter and look what's going to happen here with the value. Enter. It's automatically updated for me with following the new criteria, that is the item A. I want to select here everything and put everything here in dollar uh, as the currents, okay? Now, uh, maybe a different, a slightly different example is, now I want to know the total quantity sold per month. Instead of using now as the criteria the products, I want to use as criteria the months. Basically, we can apply here the same uh, logic as before. Equal sign, sum if, let me click here. As the range, now I need to use a different range because as I want to use the months as the criteria, I also need to select the column or the range where I have the months, such as the column A. And then I'm going to press comma as the criteria, criterion, because it's just one, okay? I want to select here the January, comma. And as the sum range, I want to select now, instead of the column E, I want to select the column D, because I want to have the quantity, the total quantity sold. I'm going to press enter, and I'm done. Let me click in the down right corner of the cell. Click hold and drag down to make sure all the rows contain the same function. And that's it. So this is how we can use the sum if function here in Google Sheets with two practical, slightly different examples. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you have any questions or any suggestions to the next videos, let me know, comment down below, because every day has a new video. So I see you there.